fun, which is, I guess, they still have a fun day in Finland. But it was especially good. I could uh, dream up on the way to work. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy the food. Uh, you all remember Danny here and Fred Smith from St. Ambrose. And you probably now have been introduced to uh, a student who's at your table who's going to type up or write down every word you said. Yeah. <laughs> um, try to keep notes. Um, the, I, my understanding is the first hour is going to be working on our um, mission vision statement. It is uh, the same exercise that uh, about 100 and some employees went through in groups. And then I think there was 35 uh, people who actually did it online. So we'll compile all of those. Fred and uh, Dan got volunteers from the employees group to actually take this work and write um, the, the mission statement for us. So we volunteers fetched the um, thing, and now they presented to us for years in the summer. So this is part of time to do that. The second part uh, of the morning is going through looking at, I, I imagine, the focus group um, meeting, all the department meetings that um, most of you set in, uh, and the outside groups and the board, uh, and then beginning our strategy. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Okay, thanks a lot, Pete. Well, I'm Dan Eager, as Dee said. Fred? Mm -hmm. Fred Smith. Okay. So we'll be facilitating uh, today and then again on December 2nd. And we'd like to thank the six students who came today. If you guys could raise your hands. Uh, so we have uh, six of our students from the Master's of Organizational Leadership Program at St. Ambrose, uh, who are here, uh, that are going to uh, help with facilitation and note taking, so that by the time we get done today, we will have all of this typed up for you. And when we get done December 2nd, we basically will have all the data that you need for putting together the strategic plan for Scott County. All right, so uh, this morning, the first step is, as Dee said, we're going to be looking at the uh, mission and values. Uh, we're going to look particularly at the prize statement, which has been a core piece of the uh, the culture here, become part of the tradition uh, here at Scott County, and so we're we're looking not at changing the pride statement, but trying to breathe some new life into it. So we're looking for some new words and phrases that can be used to describe what the pride statement means to the people who work here, people who are served here, uh, for all of us really from Scott County. So the first step in this process is to uh, is to go through this this form here. Uh, we've got a list that we've gleaned from lots of different organizations. Uh, mission, vision, and value statements. And what we're looking at is uh, words that could, uh, these are the verbs that could possibly be used to enhance what the pride statement means to us. So most of you have probably seen this flyer before. We purposely don't have this right in front of you because we don't want you to take exactly the same words uh, from the pride statement that were here before. But uh, underneath each one of the five words of pride, professionalism, responsiveness, involvement, dedication, and excellence, uh, and, and up here, we've just got doing it right, doing it now, doing it together, doing it with commitment, doing it well. Those are ways that you've described it in the past. It's been around for over 30 years. Uh, we're looking now to uh, say, okay, what well, other words could be associated with these five areas of the price data? And as you go through this list of core behaviors, don't think that, the, uh, that your choices are limited to this list. But this list is provided to stimulate your thinking, to inspire you to come up with possible other words that could be used uh, to, you know, to describe it. What does this pride statement mean to the people here in Scott County? So the first step is to just circle some of the words that just sort of pop off the page as you look at it. The second step is to think about other words that aren't necessarily on this list that you might want to use to, uh, uh, to describe and enhance and enliven a pride statement. And then eventually we want you to write your top five words down on those five lines at the bottom of your sheet. So it'll pop right out. Yep, Michelle. Let's see, Michelle, will you? So we don't have a student at this table right here, Michelle. It's Michelle down here. Oh.
people are done, but not everyone. Um, while we're waiting for the last ones to finish up, raise your hand if you do not have a copy of the focus group summary report, because we're going to run off extra copies for those who don't have one. So we've got let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Check seven right now. Okay. We won't need it until about 9.15. Okay. Yeah. Okay, once you're done at your table, the next step is to identify three of these words per table. So you need to talk with the people at your table and come up with uh, three words per table that you think could best enhance what the pride statement means to you. So uh, at your tables, talk about the five words you came up with, talk about what they mean to you, uh, and be open to the possibility to be convinced of uh, some of the words that other people at your table may have come up with. Yeah. 
and uh, and they saw a good idea. They, they took that niche and yeah, they went with the health thing. Yeah, it's a it's a nice story. Oh, it's it's well produced. I mean, it's you know, it's, and it's local. That's it's nice. another one of the you know, add to the list of advertorial publications. Little, little buy, buy an ad, get a story. You know, yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. Um, we we do cover some health issues. Though. We did that whole piece on yeah, Nevada, the, the uh, nutrition. Uh, um, Rating system at Hy-Vee. Did you hear about that? No. Yeah, we, we did a whole um, big piece on it. That was, you know, we talked to the founders of it and all, all kinds of stuff. We really okay. uh, did a piece on um, last uh, December, Florida in the water. Just read that by chance. At all. We were the first ones to yeah, we were the first ones to interview uh, Dr. Uh, Paul. Um, she had a parent's house in Hannah or something like that. He wrote the book about the uh, forward in the water in case he gets for it and so forth. So, yeah. those are health related issues. You know. <laughs> I gotta. Take care. Once you have your three, someone will line up and write them on these boards up front. So once you have your three in line up, have someone come up front and write them on these boards. Three of your three. Three of your three. Three of your three.
<laughs> Look at this, we've got some uh, emerging consensus in the room already. Yes, sir. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? I think every group I've seen so far, I've seen five of them so far, I'll, I'll have the word serving on there. Very interesting. Sure. All right, uh, while we're waiting for that to take over to finish up, let's start with this one right here. Uh, so someone at, at Amy's table, okay, uh, Amy did the writing, now someone else we need you to stand up and tell us what these words mean to you. Uh, I mean, who's saying that it wasn't okay, Amy? Okay, introduce yourself. <laughs> My name is Amy Thorson, and I'm from the health department. Oh, it's the other Amy. Okay, <laughs> there, there is no documentation of who wrote that. Um, <laughs> the other Amy. We talked about uh, protecting can, can take care of things like uh, protecting the environment, um, protecting and serving, much like the sheriff's office does. Uh, making okay, the public health, you know, protecting through um, inspections and licensing. So it, it really does encompass a lot of the things that the community does. Serving, I mean, we are public servants. We tried to find a word that that meant serving, but didn't maybe have the old feel of serving. And the best we could come up with is dish up. And so <laughs> that, that didn't quite meet our needs. Okay, right. um, but really serving, you know, we are there. And then visioning. It, it's not just about what we're doing, but it's looking ahead to make sure that Scott County's positioned for the future. Okay. Thanks, Amy. Good job. <laughs> Going first. All right. Uh, Tammy's group. Someone other than Tammy needs to get up and tell us what serving, listening, and communicating mean to you. Where's Tammy's table? Okay. Back there. All right. And it's Dave? Oh, it's Dave. Dave? All right. So Dave, tell us about serving, listening, communicating. We didn't talk a, a lot about serving. I think serving sort of, for us, was sort of self-evident. I mean, we serve the public, and as Amy said, that you know it, it, it fits in with the law enforcement to protect and serve, but all departments uh, serve the community. Um, we spent a lot of time talking about listening and communicating, and that you know we said listening is a subset of communicating, um, and so we we talked about you know do we take one of those off the list, but I think we, we felt that they were both very important and, and we felt that listening of the, of the three of those, listening is probably the most important okay. um, thing for us. Okay, and, and, about, and say more about communicating, what does that actually mean? Well, we were talking about communicating is two-way, you know, but okay. a lot of times people think that they're communicating and they're just talking. And, okay. you know, unless, unless you actively listen and comprehend what you're hearing, you know, you're really not truly communicating. Okay, so this this is the multiple directions, and this is listening from the bottom. Cor correct. Okay. Good. All right, thanks, Dave. Good job. Good morning. Can I get our clock moving? All right, otherwise we'll do a calisthenics. All right, Mary's table. Collaborating, innovating, serving. Which table is this? Uh, someone other than Mary should get up, okay? Mary was described. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's have Mary go. Okay, we... Uh, we looked at collaborating. Um, we had things like partnering, teaming. Um, serving was in there too. And your name is John. Person. John. Okay, John. Um, we had uh, a lot of different kind of directions and a lot of words, and all kind of grouped in that. So we okay. it was basically narrowing it down to one that sort of covered everything. Okay. That's how we came up with collaborating, innovating. Um, that was pretty common throughout. Um, and it was, we didn't talk a lot about that because it just sort of kind of went out there and we thought that, that was something that we always need to be looking at. You know, you can't just go on and do things the same way all the time just because that's the way you always did it. Okay, so you have to learn new ways to do all things. things. Mm -hmm. um, development, planning, that was all other okay. things that came out with that too. Okay. And the survey and the same thing. Like all right, thanks, John. Good job. Let's see, uh, Rita's table. Who'd like to present from Rita's table? We've got partnering, serving, <laughs> and continuous learning. All right, introduce yourself. I'm Lori from Community Services. Thanks, Lori. Um, I have to sit over here to see what we wrote. We got partnering, um, serving, and continuous <coughs> learning. Okay. Well, it was interesting when we first did it individually. Our five choices reflected our individual departments, which I thought was interesting. But we found themes. One of okay. them, obviously, is serving. We serve. Okay. A variety of people, you know, from county attorney, board of supervisor, health department, recorder to community services. Um, continuous learning. Um, we we went back and forth from um, 
the learning and the leading, <coughs> continuous learning, um, because we're fortunate to be a big enough county and have a lot of educational opportunities and trainings and um, IT department that we can continuously learn and then lead. So we chose continuous learning as opposed to leading, but initially that was one of ours. So it's similar to what John was saying about innovating. Correct, correct. Yeah. And then partnering, um, you know, we the departments partner together to solve an issue. You know, the county partners with many agencies and governmental entities as well as the state. So okay, similar to collaborating. So correct. We've got some uh, some consensus building here. Thanks, Lori. Good job. stand up from Sarah's table. We got leading, serving, and communicating. All right, Jeremy. Jeremy Kaiser, Juvenile you know Detention. Um, we talked about um, leading, being that Scott County is a leader in this area in terms of local government. I think that everyone looks to Scott County as a leader in this area. Serving, obviously, public service, that's our job, so serving was pretty easy. And then communicating, we talked about um, informing employees of what's going on and also communicating with all right, so it's internal and external. All right, thanks, Terry. Good job. <laughs> Last but not least, Tim's table. We need somebody from Tim's table to step up. Leading, empowering, delivering. All right, Dean.
Just um, um, one one of the groups were different agencies that receive funds in the county mm -hmm. for different things, and then another one was just um, outside outside people like uh, we had superintendent of the PB, we had um, uh, Tom. Uh, he runs Midwest Printing. So business leaders, leaders, and with the mayor of. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. He's sharp. Yeah, he's sharp. So, so is, is that the. Um, he's making seven copies. Is that the focus group summary? Yeah. That's okay. I'd love to see that. Yeah, sure. That'd be great. But. Yeah, and what time period were you doing this? We started with focus groups. It's been recent, like over the summer. Probably just in September. Oh wow! I mean, we were we were hopping. We were here one day for like six mm -hmm. doing focus groups. It was great. Yeah. It was just Keep it moving. Burn out. Burn out. Burn out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But we 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 did yeah we did sixteen focus groups in probably three weeks. Maybe two years. Part of the, were any of the uh, elected officials part of the focus groups? Oh, yeah. 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 